I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. If you are viewing this YouTube channel for the first time, make sure you subscribe. So we've got this question that uh, I want to discuss with you. This is a good question under physics light. So let us now look at this diagram. This is a particular diagram that we are given. We are given this diagram. So we've got uh, this ray, it is called an incident ray. We've got uh, this one that is going here, it is called a refracted ray. And uh, we are given here this angle, we are given this angle between the surface and the incident ray. So the question which we are given, the question which we have is this one here determine the angle of incidence so they want us to determine the angle of incidence how can you determine the angle of incidence so i'll be writing the answers here i'll say for the first one you are taught to determine the angle of incident i'll put i like that so the angle of incidence is equal to where do we find the angle of incidence the angle of incidence is found between the incident ray and the normal ray. You know that this is a normal ray. So this one is found between the incident ray and the normal ray. So this is the angle of incidence, the angle which is here. This is called the angle of incidence. So how do you find that angle of incidence when you are given a 20 degrees here? So you know that here it is making a right angle and a right angle adds up to 90. So these all angles, these two angles, when we add them, we need to get a 90. So since we don't have this other part, we just say 90 minus the 20 here, then we know what is there. So we say 90 minus 20. What are we going to get? We are going to get 70 degrees meaning that the angle which is there is 70 degrees if i add these two i'm going to get 90 degrees so in this question the angle of incidence is 70 degrees this is how you get to answer that question we move to the other question so we move to the other question this is question two what is question two saying Question 2 is saying, determine the angle of refraction. How can you determine the angle of refraction? You ask yourself, where do we find the angle of refraction? So the angle of refraction is found between the normal ray and the refracted ray. So here, that's where we get to find the what? This is where we find the angle of refraction, just here. This is where we find the normal, the angle of refraction. So now, as you can see, we are given from here up to there, we are given that it is 131. Then how can we find just this part? Our key interest is in finding this part that is here. So how can you find this part that is here? You know that you are given that whole thing. Then you know that this one here, there is a 90 degrees here. This is a right angle. Have you seen? So from here to there, it is what? 90 degrees. So when it moves from here to there, 90 degrees, how can we find this part? We just say 131 minus 90 degrees. The answer that we are going to have, it means that we found this part that is here. So I'm going to say, Refractive index, I mean ref, uh, the angle of refraction, I'll put R as equal to, I'll say 131 minus 90. This is what I'm going to do, which is equal to, so this is equal to, you get your calculator, you say 131 minus 90 degrees. What is the answer? 41. So we are going to get a 41. So a 41 there. That is the angle of refraction. So here we've got what? We've got 41. So we've calculated the angle of incidence. 
we've also calculated the angle of diffraction. This is what we've calculated. So now, what we are going to do next, we check our question now, what are we taught to do? So, what are we taught to do? In this case, what we are taught to do is that we determine the refractive index. How can we determine the refractive index? So, we need to determine the refractive index. How can we determine the refractive index? The first thing is to know the formula. So, this is question 3. You know the formula for refractive index. Refractive index is equal to, this is the formula that we use. Refractive index is equal to sine incidence over sine refraction. So, sine angle of incidence over sine angle of refraction. This is the formula that we get to use whenever we want to find the refractive index. Where you are going to say n is equal to, n is the refractive index. Since it is a refractive index, this one has no units. So it is just a constant number. So you say sine angle of incidence. What is the angle of incidence? The angle of incidence was what? 70. I do this. Then I say over, over sine angle of refraction. Sine angle of refraction is what? 41. These I'm just from calculating there. So those I've calculated already. I'm just working them out here. So then I work out this part where I say N is equal to. So what is sine 70? What is sine 70? You say sine 70. What is sine 70? Sine 70 is 0 0.93969262 like that. Then over. This is what I'm going to do. Over sine 41. So I say sine 41. What am I going to get? I'm going to get 0 0.9 six five six zero five nine zero two nine this is the answer that i'm going to get after reaching here then i divide so i say now the diffractive index is equal to what so i divide these two i say zero point nine three nine six nine two six two divide zero point six five six zero five nine zero two nine what answer am i getting i'm getting this answer this is the answer which i'm getting so it is one point four three two three so four three four three two three two nine two nine three seven seven. This is what I'm getting. I can put my answer now to three significant figures where I'm going to say this will be equal to one point four three. So this is my answer. This is how I need to calculate the refractive index. So if you are taught to define refractive index, we use the same formula which is given. You are going to use this same formula where you are going to say that refractive index is a ratio of the sine angle of incidence to the sine angle of refraction. This is what it is going to give you this is the definition that you need to know so even when you search this is the definition that you get so once you know the formula then you know its definition let us move to the last one let us move to the last one so we move to the last one which is we are taught to calculate the critical angle 
how can we calculate the critical angle? So, this is how you calculate the critical angle. A critical angle, this is a particular angle of an incident ray. We use this formula. Critical angle is equal to sine inverse of 1 over diffractive index. This is the formula that we use. So, whenever you want to find the critical angle, this is the formula that you need to know. This is the formula that you need to use. So, I'm going to say critical angle is equal to sine inverse of, like this, 1 over the critical, 1 over the refractive index. So, what was the refractive index? The refractive index was 1.43. This is what I'm going to do. Then I just substitute in the formula where I'm going to say this one is now equal to sine inverse of 1 divided by. So I say 1, I divide the, uh, 1 divided 1.43. What am I going to get? I'm going to get uh, 0 0.6. Six nine nine three nine three numbers are just going like that. So then I say where I'm going to conclude and say at this stage now this is what I'm going to do. So I will say critical angle is equal to. So how do we punch this on the calculator? This is what you are going to do when you want to punch that on a calculator. This is what we are going to do. You say shift, you punch where there is shift. You punch where there is what? Where there is shift. You punch where there is shift. You do that shift. Then you say sign. The inverse will pop up. You are going to see sign inverse. Then you say 0 0.6 time. You type everything. Then you say equals. What answer are you going to get? You are going to get 44. Point three seven zero nine two. This is what you are going to get. So if we are to write this to uh, three significant figures, the answer that you get is that critical angle is equal to forty four forty four point four degrees. So forty four point four degrees. This will be our critical angle so this is how you need to answer this question these are steps that you need to follow this question comes in your exams so make sure you revise through this make sure that you understand all the concept that i've just illustrated with you so these are some of the things you need to get everything in an exam all the calculations i've done all these calculations, you need to know them. So if you want tuitions in science, this is my line. You can WhatsApp me on that line. So you can just WhatsApp me on that line. Then I'll be able to attend to you. So this is plus 2609710667. This is how we get to calculate this. Make sure that you understand this part well and this part because these are two important things that we need to know thank you so much hope this video has been helpful thank you so much make sure you've subscribed make sure you like the video thank you